everyone, my name is Sabrina Melodius and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing mother and son Q&A slash AMA, which is questions and answers slash ask me anything. So I have got our lists. This is my son's list. He has quite a few questions and one of them is from me and he's got 12 questions in total and here is my list of questions and I've got 18 questions. Two of them are from my son. There we are. So we are very much looking forward to doing these for you and um, this is very exciting. So let's get started. Alright, so we are ready to start and we're going to begin with my son's questions. He has 12 and I look forward to hearing his answers. So let's go ahead, shall we? Are you ready? No. I think that means yes. How, question number one. How old are you? 12. Okay, perfect. Number two. What are your interests? I don't know. Yeah, it's a hard one to answer that, isn't it? Question number three. Did you master the game Mom bought you for Christmas? I don't know which game. You got quite a few games for Christmas, didn't you? Yeah. Which ones did you get? Do you remember? Not that much. He did get quite a few, but yeah, I think... I don't think he has a favor. I don't think he uh, remembers which game that was supposed to be. And okay, uh, he does enjoy playing with all his games, though. What is your favorite game? Do you have a favorite game? Yes. You do. No guess. Is it Zelda? Yeah. There we are, Zelda. Perfect. Okay, question number four. What is your favorite thing to do? Oh, <laughs> that I believe, yes. Number five, what is your favorite color? Red. <gasps> yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Number six, what is your favorite subject in school? I don't have one. No, okay. Number seven, what is your favorite game? We've already answered that, haven't we? Yeah. It's Zelda. Well, question number eight, what makes you happy? Happy things. Happy things, what a great answer. Question number nine, what do you look forward to when you wake up? Waking up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still haven't woke up when I wake up. Oh, it takes a while, does it? Yeah. Okay. Question number 10. If you opened the store, what would you sell? I have no idea. No idea. Empty water bottles. Empty water bottles? Actually, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. What a great idea, especially nowadays. I'd get rich. Yeah, people would buy them for a lot of money. Right. Question number 11. If you could write a book, what would it be about? Um, a rock. A rock? Like the person, the rock, or no. a rock? A rock. A rock. Actually, a you used name. to have a pet rock, didn't you? Yeah, it died. Oh, what was his name? Rock. Just rock, yeah. I remember his little pet rock. Oh, it was so cute. How? It just really was so cute. And this is your last question from me. Why do you think a pet rock is cute? A it rock. was, though. Right, are you ready for your last question? Yeah. If you had microscopic vision, what would you want to see? Oh, I asked for your opinion. If I had microscopic vision, I would, ask, I would want to see why I asked for your opinion. 
Okay. Um. <laughs> Well, that was great. That was such fun and uh, honestly just amazing. I think you enjoyed yourself, didn't you? <laughs> I know I did. It's starting to sound like a chicken or a monkey. Oh my gosh! The way you laugh, it's oh, like a chicken or a monkey. Nobody heard that, right? <laughs> Maybe a okay. rooster. A rooster, great. Right, well, anyway, I'm going to stop here because that concludes my son's questions. I want to thank everyone for your lovely questions. And I want to, I want to thank especially my son for answering these fantastic questions. So I'm going to pause now and then I will start on my questions. Okay, I am now back and ready to answer my questions and there are 18 questions so I will answer as quickly as I can. Here's my list. I wrote all the questions down and here we go. Question number one. Where are you from originally? I am from France. I am French. I was born and raised in Paris. How long have you been in England? I moved in the UK way back in 1991. Mm -hmm. So a long, long, long time ago, which might give you an indication as to how old I am. Question number two. What do I do for a living? I knit and crochet. I have a personal business, like a small business. I am self-employed. And so I, I teach how to knit and crochet. I design. I make things for customers. And my business name is Sabrina the Teenage Stitch. So feel free to search for it online. I am online. I have been for a few years. So do not hesitate to search for Sabrina the Teenage Stitch. Question number three. Am I married? No. <laughs> Question number four. Do I have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have six brothers and one sister. Sadly, one of my brothers has passed away uh, quite a few years ago. He was 25 years old. And also my sister, who passed away quite a few years ago now, and she was just 21. The others are well and um, just lovely people, of course. <laughs> and why wouldn't they be, right? Um, Question number five, does your family live in the same country and state? So I have some family a little bit all over the place. When I say all over the place, I do have some in the same country, um, in the same, one is in the same town and the other one is in a different town, but not that far away. And of course, being French, then most of my family are all in France. I do have some members in Italy and um, on some in Poland. So there we are. We are a little bit from all over the place. So, yeah. Okay, question number six. Do I have pets? And if so, how many? So currently we have just the one pet and it's the cutest guinea pig you've ever seen. And um, so yeah, just the one, it's Max. And in, if you want to check him out, I have a video. So go into my video section and he is there. I am showing you my guinea pig. He's just the cutest thing, honestly. Feel free to check him out. 
Question number seven. How long have I been crocheting and knitting? Well, that's a very long time. I started knitting, I think I was about nine or ten, and I was ten when I started to crochet. Question number eight. Do I drive? No, I don't drive. I did um, start to learn how to drive back in Paris and it was a horrendous experience. I had three hours on the road and I just, it was a struggle. And, and then that's it. Question number nine, do I have a yarn stash and a yarn room? I have a yarn stash but all my yarn are in different bags and not in a particular room per se because my yarn is actually all over the darn place. <laughs> I have yarn in every single room except one room which is the bathroom. I limit it at that. No yarn in that place. I saw yarn in the bathroom. He might have seen yarn in the bathroom before but there is none now. So, um, Okay, I'm just checking that the camera is still working with me. Okay, so that's good. Question number 10. Who taught you how to knit and crochet? So when I was nine, um, I was watching my grandmother knit. And I asked her, could she teach me? And so she taught me the basics of knitting. And then I saw my auntie. She was knitting amazing stuff. And I asked her, could she show me some things that are a little bit more advanced and she did and then the rest I taught myself so now and I continually teach myself new stitches and new techniques and I really love it and the more challenging the better and so sometimes I really I don't know why but I enjoy struggling and then overcoming that and yay look what I can do now kind of stuff but yeah, and crochet, uh, when I was 10, I remember being at my granddad's house and um, his wife told me to go and get something in her wardrobe and when I looked at her stuff, I said, oh my gosh, you've got some Coco Chanel suits. She said, yeah, do you like them? I said, I love them. Oh my gosh, I said, I didn't realize you had Coco Chanel and she uh, showed me her suits and turns out that she crocheted them. She did. So I was just so, oh, oh really? And I said, you can you please show me how to crochet? And she said, yes, of course. So we sat down and she showed me. And my first lesson, I still remember it now, it was how to do the chain stitch. And out of an entire uh, skin of yarn, I just did a chain. And that was my first thing that I ever did. And I was about 10 years old. So it is a long time. Question number 11. If you could spend a day with anyone, real or fiction, who would it be and why? Okay, so... I had a thought about this question and honestly I couldn't just put it down to one person so I'm going to pause and I'll be right back and I'm back again to answer question 11 yay so I will repeat that one if you could spend a day with anyone real or fiction who would it be and why so I was going to put one person up there, but I thought I better not. I mean, this is my favorite singer of all time, but this can cause controversy. So I think it's a case of either you love him or you don't. And for me, I have grown up listening to his music and I absolutely love this person. He's just very ins inspirational and just, really amazing anyway so now i have five people down because i can't just choose one person right so i'm gonna say the first one is 
Colombo. Yes, Colombo. And his real name, of course, is not that. It's Peter. I will not say the name because it sounds like a bad word. It's not, but it sounds like it when you say it out loud. It's spelled, got my son watching, right? So it's spelled F A L K. So when you say that that name, it sounds a little bit like you're swearing, <laughs> right? But it's not. So anyway, this this person, I just I really really admire him and um, just a, a person that I can't stop watching. It's just I really love it. I've got his whole box uh, box set of all the DVDs from. The Colombo series, all of them. I just love this character so, so much. Okay, next person is a person from a long time ago. Again, I think I was born in the wrong decade, people. Because I just I just really love Fred Astaire. I just Fred Astaire was an amazing person and wow! I would love to spend a day with him because I love his person and I love his energy and I love everything about him. He was such a perfectionist and oh, I would just love to spend a day with this guy. Wow, just to talk to him and go to the park with him and maybe if he could teach me a move or two, that'd be so nice and just yeah, and just sing together, you know, let's face the music and dance and stuff like that. That would be so amazing. Just Fred Astaire. Okay, next person is, this might shock a lot of people. And this will definitely shock my family. Not that they will watch. But I have been wanting to, um, to actually go to his actual grave. So I'm going to say who it is. Oscar Schindler. An amazing person. Because he did an amazing thing at, towards the end of his life. And, and I respect him. And I just want to thank him from the bottom of, of my heart for saving all these people's lives. All these, you know, I can't really discuss this too much. But... It's a question that was asked to me, and I answer as honestly as I can. And Oscar Schindler is one of these people. And I would have loved to spend a day with him, just to show him my appreciation and respect. There we are. Next person is, of course, it's got to be my little granny, the most important person in my entire life. Um, and she was just the, the person that was the most constant in my life. She made me feel loved and a lot of security and just, she gave me the most amazing feelings ever. And she was also my biggest inspiration in life. She has taught me a lot. And I cannot talk about her highly enough. She was really the most important person in my universe. She is no longer here now for a few years. And the day she went, my world was tipped right upside down. There is not one day that I do not think about her. I miss her every day. I love her so much. And there we are. So my little granny, because, and I call her my little granny because she was so little. She was between four foot eight and four foot nine. Just tiny, tiny. And just, yeah, I just love her so much. And so there we are, my little granny. And last but least, and I don't know if I should mention it, but I'm going to because, you know, when people ask me a question, I either do not answer, but if I do, I have to be very honest. So, 
the last person I'm going to say is Derek. I would love, 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 love to spend a day with you. I just would love to. It's amazing what we could do. We could go out and do stuff and go yarn shopping and have a blast. And even my son would love to meet we'll you. Go out and stuff. Yeah, we could go out and do stuff like going to the park or to the shop or you just said go, go for out. lunch. You just said go out. Okay. And so anyway, so I would love, love, love to spend the day with you. Yes, I would. So, okay. And oh my gosh, I'm all red. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Let's move on. Question number 12. Who is your favorite author? That was a hard one to choose again because there are a few that I could mention. But honestly, I have the one name that just pops to my head immediately. And it's Stephen King. I mean, who doesn't love this guy? He is amazing. And I remember the first book I ever read was Needful Things. What an amazing book! And I have one of these most vivid imaginations. And as I read, I could just picture the people, what they're doing. I was just, I was just, wow! And there's another book I really enjoyed. It was uh, Rose Mother. And, and then there's another one. Uh, anyway, this loads. <laughs> I have seen some of his movies and admittedly I prefer to read him rather than watch him. But there is there are a couple of series I did enjoy watching. One was Rose Red, I think, Rose Red. That was amazing. And uh, my my favorite uh, series from from Mr. King is um Oh, what was it called? The Storm of the Century. Ha! Oh, I love that series. That was just, I, I think I've seen it three or four times. Just an amazing series. If you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend it, especially if you like Stephen King. Ah, oh, that's a fantastic series. Okay, question number 13. When you travel, do you take your crochet with you? Okay, so admittedly, I will put something in my bag, either it's knitting or crochet project, I will take it, put it in my bag, leave it there. If I'm in a place where I'm alone, I might take it out, but I'm not good at crocheting or knitting in public. I'm too shy and too self-conscious. Maybe if other people are knitting and crocheting, I might join in after a while. But I'm just too shy to do that. I envy those people who can do it in, in the bus or in a park or something. I did try that at the park once. I got my crochet out and I started to crochet. Then some passers-by were just like, huh, what is she doing? So I, I just put it away thinking, okay, this is not the thing to do around here. So that put me off, which is a shame really. But there we are. So, okay. Question number 14. Favorite place to go to work on a project? Basically in a quiet place. So it doesn't have to be anywhere specific. I usually tend to go and crochet in my room. Sometimes in the living room, but anywhere where it's nice and quiet so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. Um, I used to go to a crochet group, but now that group has stopped. But I enjoy that and whilst I was there, I didn't really do much knitting or crochet. I was just more socializing with people, which was great. So, yeah, but around here is probably my room. Question number 15. 
No one will get that. This is a private joke between me and my son. Question number 15. Do you have a husband or is it just you and your son? Oh, I think I answered that earlier. I have no husband, so it's just me and my lovely son. And that's okay. Number 16. Other hobbies? Yes. I enjoy doing cross stitch. I enjoy reading and I love writing, although I haven't written in a long time, but I do enjoy writing. I enjoy um, the law. That is a big uh, subject for me. I've always enjoyed the law, some politics, and also um, some medical things. I've wanted to be a midwife for a long time, and so uh, biology is a important aspect in life, and it does interest me. But uh, certainly, I have a lot more hobbies. I've just started to do uh, diamond painting. I'm struggling, but I am enjoying it. Yes. Uh, and I think that's it. I enjoy walking. I love walking. I would walk all day long if I could. I love it. Okay, number 17. And it's the last question. Yes. Uh, Actually, before I get to that question, it seems I have forgotten number question, question number 11B from my son. How could I forget? Okay, if you could bring anyone back to life, who would it be? This is from my son. And he knows the answer to that, right? Don't you? No. I will show you a picture. Okay, so to answer my son's question as to if you could bring anyone back to life, who would it be? I think if you've seen my previous question on if you could spend a day with anyone real or fiction, who would it be and why? I think you might get the answer from there. So yes, it is my little granny and I've got a picture of her here and she was just the kindest woman and everyone loved her. She was just the most amazing person ever. So I will show you and you'll be able to see. This is who I'd want to bring back to life. Look at her cute face. Let's glare. Look at her face. You can see in her eyes how what a good person she was, right? She was just an amazing person, seriously amazing. And I remember taking that picture. I was 15 or 16 and I was about to go on a, uh, on a school trip. And I said to my little granny, I need to take a picture before I go. And she said, where do you want me? I said, anywhere you want. So she went to the bathroom and, and I just took that picture and, and there we are. She's just such an amazing person and I just love her so much and I miss her every day. Really, really miss her. Uh, I never got a real chance to say goodbye either. So I think this is, you know, a remaining thing for me that I haven't gotten over yet, you know, the grieving process. But Watching her picture makes me smile and I feel she's with me, my little granny. I love her so much. So there we are, darling. Thank you for your question. And number 17 is also from my son. And it is an interesting question. So are you ready for this? If you could eat something that is very strange, what would it be? So I had the thought and I told my son what it is and I don't think he's particularly impressed with my answer but I told him a yarn cake. It's horrible. I said strange. 
And I think this is the thing that only us knitters and crocheters can, you know, really relate to. What is a yarn cake? We know what it is. So I, I would good. eat that because they do look yummy. This is my answer, darling. I'm sorry. Strange. Well, yeah, but what else would I eat, right? I don't know. A table. <laughs> a strange room. A I toilet. I want to eat. No, thank you. Yeah, I said a strange a strange thing to eat, not a boring Oh, thing. actually, I saw something on TV recently. And someone made a cake, like a toilet seat. And they even put more teasers inside to make it look like poo. <laughs> Rabbit poo. Oh, that was so funny, and I thought of you actually when I watched that. That was so hilarious. It's not human poo, it's uh, rabbit poo. I definitely would not eat that cake. I would. <laughs> I would. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely all. would not. I'd eat it all in one go. Oh, can you imagine? Eating a toilet seat with poop inside. Oh! I mean, that's just gross. Even if it's cake, just the idea of it is just... Ugh. <laughs> Man, let's me just... Give me the shavers and everything. <laughs> just, oh, oh, the isn't yeah. that must be a boy thing, right? Because the person who made the cake was a, was a man. So, it must be a boy thing, right? Our boys are just so gross beyond belief that they would eat that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, right, anyway, so we're done with our questions. Yes, we're done. We're done. We're done. It's the end. That's if you've stuck with us until the end, because I don't know. It's quite a long video, as it turns out. So, um, thank you, everyone, for your lovely questions. It's been a blast, and I think my son has enjoyed it with with me as well, which is nice. It's a mother and son thing, right? And so on, on behalf of my son, myself and my little granny, I uh, just want to thank you all again for your questions and thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, happy knitting and crochet everyone. <laughs>